Hi, welcome back to my YouTube channel dedicated to helping parents like you guide your child to greater confidence and interest in maths. If you have yet to subscribe to my channel, remember to hit that subscribe button so that you do not miss another episode. I'm Benjamin and today I'll be sharing the must-know time management skills needed to score for PSLE Math Paper 2, the Problem Sums section. Has your child been struggling to improve his or her results in the Problem Sums section? The truth is, many of my students have been able to improve their results quickly simply by learning how to manage their time well and forming good habits that allow them to solve problem sums quickly. In other words, they don't actually have to study harder just to get better results. What I'll be sharing is what my students have been trained to do to get quicker improvement and to become top students. Of course, improving in their knowledge and skill is important in getting better results. And you will find those in my other teaching videos found in my channel. In this video, we will be covering 1. The structure and time limits for paper 2 2. How much time to spend doing each question 3. What to do at the start of the paper 4. What to do when a student gets stuck in a question and 5. Habits to adopt to improve in speed and accuracy but before I get into the details, allow me to briefly introduce myself. I'm Benjamin, author of 18 math guidebooks found in all major bookshops like Popular. I'm also the personal tutor to more than 2,500 students who have gone from borderline to top students by using the same methods that I'll be sharing with you to get those top results. Let us start with a good foundation by being familiar with the structure and time limits for paper 2. This may surprise you, but many of the students that I meet do not know how much time they have for the paper and how many marks each question carries. Obviously, it is critical to know these things well to properly prepare for the exam. Ask your child, to make sure that they know what I'm about to share with you. Total of 55 marks to be done in 90 minutes. First, the two mark questions. Questions 1 to 5 carry two marks each with a total of 10 marks. There are five three mark questions for a total of 15 marks, five four mark questions for a total of 20 marks, and two five mark questions for a total of 10 marks. So now that we know the structure, let's next talk about how much time to spend for each question. Keep in mind that this is a rough estimate and that your child should be trained to handle the questions within the time limit and to develop a sense of how much time to spend on each question. Time allowance for problem sums PSLE Math Paper 2 55 marks with a time limit of 90 minutes This means that there will be about 1 mark for about 1.5 minutes including the checking time How many marks per question and how much time? For the 2 mark questions it should be solved in a total of 10 to 15 minutes for the three mark questions, each question should take four minutes. For the four mark questions, each question about six minutes. And for the five mark question, each question about eight minutes. This includes checking time. During practice, make sure that they complete the questions within the time allowance for each question according to the number of marks given to develop this sense of timing. On a side note, you can use a simple timer during practice. So, what is the first thing to do at the start of the exam? Is it to begin by quickly answering the first question? The simple answer is no. 
Before attempting the questions, it is important to take a quick look at all the questions to know what to expect. What to do at the start of PSLE Maths Paper 2? Look through all the pages quickly in about 5 minutes before attempting to start solving questions. Highlight all the keywords quickly. Why? Many students make the mistake of spending too much time at the first question that they have trouble with. They spend too much time trying to provide the perfect answer. As a result, they sacrifice the time that was meant for the last few high mark questions. So, at the end of the paper, they end up rushing through the questions and doing those questions poorly. But why do they do that? It is because they tend to think that the last few questions, the high mark questions, are going to be too difficult. And so the average student tends to spend more time on the earlier questions to perfect them so that they can get the marks. But this is untrue. And they tend to find that out only when they are almost out of time when it's too late. Oh, no. The truth is, these are the questions that they would have been able to solve if they had spent a fair amount of time doing it and getting the marks. What a waste! <coughs> and what should a student do when he finds a problem sum too difficult? Let me share this with you. PSLE Math what to do when the problem sum is too difficult. Number one, it's too difficult if you can't start after one minute. If after a minute you're not able to start, then it's unlikely the next one minute will make any difference. Also, returning to it later will often bring a fresh perspective and so a solution. Number two, highlight the question clearly and return to it at the end of the paper. Number three, move on to the next question immediately. Finally, let's talk about habits to develop speed and accuracy in problem solving. Habits to adopt to develop speed and accuracy for problem sums. Number one, always use a calculator even if you think your mental calculation is good. This is especially critical in exams as stress can cause mistakes and early calculation mistakes can cause the whole question. Number two, focus on completion, not perfection. Finish everything you can, then polish and check. Number three, do not try to write perfectly if it slows you down. It's very important to be legible, but unfortunately, there are no marks for beautiful handwriting, but there are marks for getting the question correct. Of course, there are more habits that can give you marks or cost you marks, and you can find them in my other videos. For methods to check for careless mistakes, please check out my Instagram found in the description below, or you can WhatsApp me with your name and best email, and I will personally send you my How to Avoid Top 10 Careless Mistakes ebook. If you found this useful, remember to subscribe to watch my other videos created to help parents like you motivate your children to excel. And share this with your friends who need help motivating their children to excel. Also, check out my IG channel found in the description below which has hundreds of posts created to help you in your parenting journey. If you are serious, about transforming your child's interest in maths. Call or WhatsApp me at my number found in the description below to have a chat with me to help your child score and excel while studying less. I'll see you again.